Hello there! From a secret snowman building skill to a memorial for a fallen hero, here are 40 secrets, easter eggs and amazing details in Hogwarts Legacy. Every game needs a Dark Souls easter egg. It's a simple concept, a sword in a bonfire. You've seen it 50 times before. Well Hogwarts has got one too. At this location, just look at this little dude with his mighty sword. Feel free to light that bonfire, he doesn't mind. In fact, this entire area seems to be a From Software homage, with a gravesite like those seen in Dark Souls, and headstones set in the wall like stepping stones, just like Elden Ring. Amazing. Back to the little dude on the sword. I'm told this is based on a mandrake, and this toy version pops up everywhere in game doing completely random things, like this. In the opening mission, you can find one chilling on a cliff edge eating popcorn with a Niffler friend. Those bros can be also found on the hilltop near Hogwarts, having a tea party no less, and a brew is there for you if you want one too. I'm sure these guys appear elsewhere in the game, if you find them, please let me know. Many players have located what will be Hagrid's abode near the grounds of the school, just like in the movies. Yet here is a very sad easter egg. A gravestone sits, in honour of Robbie Coltrane, the actor who played Hagrid. I'll not be here sadly, but... <laughs> Don't you think on it for one minute, but Hagrid will. Robbie passed away in 2022. Damn, that was sad. That was really sad. One of the treasure map missions has us play a very specific tune on these bells. Once complete, it quickly becomes apparent. It's Hedwig's theme. Harry Potter's legendary music by John Williams is playable in-game. In one of the puzzle doors scattered around Hogwarts, it's possible to find a painting of Medusa, the legendary snake-haired woman who could turn anyone she looked at into stone. The thing is, by looking at the painting, we'll be turned to stone, which is probably what happened to everything else in this room. Everything is solid stone. Oh, and I didn't notice this until I started editing, but look at the painting again, and the dude in the picture, he changes from a normal human being to a man of stone. Human, stone man, magic. An amazing detail you may have totally missed can be found during winter. The snowmen are alive and watch you from a distance, and if you cast a basic spell on them, they'll retaliate with a snowball. Things get even more insane if you melt them using one of your fire abilities. Don't worry, a colder spell can reform them again. It's like being in Frozen. Hogwarts Legacy is set 100 years or so before the books, which lets future stories be referenced in-game. For example, in the library, it's possible to locate this book. Secrets of the Darkest Arts. I'm impressed. It turns out this is one of the most important plot points in the movies, and in the game, it's just a throwaway line as you're breaking the rules, going on your own adventure. In the Slytherin bathroom, it's possible to find the place that will uncover the Chamber of Secrets. Look closely, the etching on the tap in-game and the accompanying text tells us nobody has any idea what this could mean. That revelation would take a few more generations to be uncovered. Another reference can be found in the girls' loose. In one of the stalls is a cauldron and someone is brewing polyjuice, just like Hermione does a hundred years later. Blech, I wouldn't drink that. An early quest that can be picked up at the three broomsticks is all about following butterflies. You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes. Not scary at all, right? Well, this is actually thanks to Ron and a quote from the movies. Follow the spiders. Why spiders? Why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? Random thought, did you know there's a trophy or achievement in game for flipping over a cow 10 times? Legit, flipendo is underrated. Have you ever tried walking around Hogwarts in your PJs? It turns out the devs expected someone to try this and many of the staff and students will comment as you strut by. Are you in pajamas? Excuse me, there seems to be a sleepwalking student on the loose. You do look comfortable. An amazing detail you likely missed can be found on the character select screen. Most people won't see this, but if you sit and wait in this screen, depending on how far through the game and through the side quests you are, interactions will be shown. Such as a Niffler escaping your bag in the pursuit of gold coins, you could see a freaking phoenix dive in and show its face for a while, and even the golden snitch from Quidditch. Other things include books could be levitated around, the beasts that you've encountered in your story will nip in and say hello, and even your house elf will have a changed animation depending on how he's feeling. Mine is very happy. And yes, my character is really called Barnaby Sizzlenob. Thank you. 
So, Quidditch is not in Hogwarts Legacy thanks to a year-long ban from the headmaster. This year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Well, the lady that teaches how to ride a broom can't get enough of that sport and in her room is a teeny tiny version of Quidditch being played by minuscule characters. A crazy attention to detail. Another sport can also be seen played around the school, it's chess. And yes, I checked, chess is a sport. The pieces here play themselves and the game is over almost immediately. It turns out it's possible to checkmate a player in just two moves. And you can see it in game over and over again. And speaking of chess, we get to play on the oversized chess board from the movie in a side quest. Right now, this quest is a PlayStation exclusive, which is a bit of a shame because it's one of the best quests in the game. It even has an upside down boss fight. Hogwarts Legacy lets us choose a house to rep during our stay. I picked Slytherin, like all the other degenerates in the world. Next, I wanted to know what happens if I attempted to enter other house dorm rooms. Gryffindor is behind a portrait of your mum. Will she let us in? The password for today is... Please go away. No password, no entrance. You try coming up with clever passwords day in, day out. Not as easy as it looks. No, we can't enter. The Hufflepuff dorm room is behind the barrels near the kitchen. And in fact, we are told what happens if an imposter attempts to enter. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. Let's see if it's true. Damn it, it is true. A full face of vinegar for any non-Hufflepuff students who get too close. Oh, and by the way, whilst down in the kitchen, you'll see how the food at Hogwarts is made. Watch long enough and the real skills are shown. The house elves trample all over your food. Never go to Hogwarts. Disgusting! Hogwarts Legacy is packed with rare animations and mini little events. I'm sure you've spotted the quarrelling knights in the corridors. Every time we venture near them, one will be upsetting the other one with annoying humming sounds. Eventually, he can't take it anymore and this happens. No! Another ultra rare event can be seen on the railway tracks. There's one single scripted event in the game that lets us see the Hogwarts Express, but if you're lucky, it will come back every day. And out of interest, I checked if I could get on board, and wow. Nope, it's a ghost train. On the map screen, it's possible to spot a dragon in the skies. Well, it turns out it's really in game. Occasionally, that beast will swoop down for a drink in the lake, or better yet, for lunch. RIP, four legged friend. And as we're in Scotland, I was hoping for a Loch Ness monster, but all I could find was this giant squid who will pop up for air every day or two. If this was Fortnite, we'd class this as a Kraken event. Oh my god, guys, it's happening right now. Oh my god, guys, everyone spam it in the chat right now if you're excited. Oh my god. Oh, and if you choose to be Slytherin, be sure to tap on the glass in your dorm room, and the squid will throw you up a high five for your efforts. Whilst here in your dorm room and playing as a male character, try to get into the girl's bedroom. Bedroom. You'll find, just like in the books, the girls have a private space that no man can enter. The stairs become a ramp and yeet lads away. And in other dorms, suits of armour will block the path completely. Harry Potter references are scattered everywhere in game and some will be more important to fans than others. Like this, did you know the jail cell Sirius Black found himself in is here in game and you can venture inside. And by finding this cage door by the Slytherin bathrooms, you will find a secret ghost party. I'm going to ask her this time. You said that 40 years ago. These are death day celebrations where all the ghosts get together and have a bit of a buggy, which I'm told happens in the books too. Over in Hogsmeade, random NPCs can be spotted looking through the window of the toys and joke shop. And it so happens that it's possible to see two identical ginger twin boys looking through the glass awestruck. It may just be coincidence, but this could be a nod to the Weasley twins who would go on to create their own wizarding joke shop a century later. This footage is from Donby, by the way. Have you noticed the NPC found around the world who uses his wizarding prowess to conduct a few instruments? If you have the time and the patience and the money, keep tipping him every time you see him and he'll slowly add more and more instruments to his orchestra and thank you each time he sees you. I think six is his limit, but I'm not 100% sure yet. 
so Hogwarts Legacy will go down in history as a pretty damn good RPG. Is there anything else you noticed that I didn't? Please let me know in the comments and maybe we'll make a part two. I'm Adam, you're awesome, it's been a pleasure, see ya!